Hey guys, welcome back to Exploration Place. Today we're going to announce our, our STEM challenge winner. Our STEM challenge this week was the egg drop challenge where we challenged you to build a contraption that would um, get your egg safely to the ground without cracking from at least eight feet up when dropped. So I have Logan here from yesterday. Yesterday he did our uh, employee STEM challenge and he won. So he's going to introduce the science behind the uh, egg drop challenge and then we'll announce the winners. Okay, there's a whole lot of equations going on with this physics, but the main one we can focus on is just force equals mass times acceleration. Everyone's favorite physics equation, equation FMAC. Okay, so you have the force, and then we're going to go over for mass. So mass is essentially just the amount of matter inside an object. So just like the stuff inside that stuff. And then we have acceleration. And you might think of acceleration as like when you hit the gas in your car and you're pushed against the seat. But if we really wanted to break it down, it's actually how fast you accelerate, or how fast you get up to that speed. It's your rate of change, okay? So you can accelerate really quickly by slamming on your gas pedal, or you can put on the brakes and you decelerate. It's also a form of acceleration. So you can have positive or negative acceleration. And in our equation here, to reduce our force, which we don't want on our egg, because that's what cracks the egg, we want to reduce either the mass or the acceleration. So we kind of have a set mass with the egg, but also whenever we're building our contraption, we don't want to attach it to say something like a brick. We don't want to attach it to something like a brick because that has too much mass, okay? So if we reduce the mass, we can reduce the force. Or what we could also do is reduce the acceleration. So, I shouldn't have put that down. That's what I had my parachute for. If it could slow down the time that this took to come to a stop, it would reduce the overall force. Or I attach these straws, and you can see they're kind of bent after my experiment yesterday. So whenever these hit, they kind of bend down. And that bending action helped to also reduce that acceleration. So those two factors are why I chose to build my egg drop contraption that way, to just reduce the amount of acceleration. So if we wanted to put numbers behind this, so if my, I have a mass of just some arbitrary number, like two, and if I have an acceleration of five, my force is 10. Okay, but if I can reduce that acceleration down to only two, now my force is four, and I have a lot less of force imparting onto my egg and a bigger chance that it's gonna survive. Okay, that is how I survived the egg drop challenge. Thank you guys, good Thanks, job. Logan. All right, guys, before we get to our winners, I want to make sure that we take a chance to give a shout out to every single one of you because, oh my gosh, you guys did an amazing job. We love seeing the creativity. We love seeing the content and you guys rocked this challenge. So we had three judges today. The first of those was Josh, our preschool teacher. Then we had Joe from the store and we also had Daniel from public programs that were giving us our judging so that we could determine our winners. We went off of creativity, we went off of the least amount of supplies used, lots of different ways that we looked at and made sure that you guys were having fun to determine our winners. So, are you guys ready? Logan, give me a drum roll! All right, for our third place winner, we have Drew Lucero. Give, uh, Drew, give Drew Lucero a round of applause for our winners. You got our third place winner. All right, for second place, we have Caleb and Elliot Peterson. Congratulations guys for getting second place. And for first place, with the best egg drop challenge submission, we have Sophia Kiros. I hope I pronounced that right. So Sophia and Caleb and Elliot and Drew, we will get in contact with you guys over Facebook Messenger. All right, give everybody a round of applause for all the great work you did today. And stay tuned tomorrow for our next STEM challenge and see how you can stack up against the competition.